we doing everybody it's Cataly HD and today I'm here going to show you guys the updated version of my last couple of videos I'm going to show you guys how to install LCPDFR 1.0D uh, it's the newest version that just came out a couple days ago and uh, the features that are in it are pretty cool uh, one thing I'm definitely excited to use is uh, the brand new boat patrol that's on their marine patrol that looks pretty cool so I'm definitely gonna try that out and maybe make a few videos for you guys so uh, I'm going to run you guys through the install, and I'm going to do it two ways. Um, I'm going to make a video um, of the automatic install and a separate video for the manual install. So this video is going to be the automatic install, and if you want the manual install video, uh, just click anywhere on the screen uh, right now, and it will send you to the manual install. Again, personal preference uh, of which one you'd like to choose. So what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and bring it to my website. You're going to want to click LCPDFR 1.0D. Bring it here. Hit download. I actually haven't even downloaded this yet, so I'm going to do it with you guys. Um, so like I said, this video is an automatic install, so you want to hit the number one. And then you got to do the little stupid security check thing. I hate these things. Uh, underwater. hate those things sometimes those things make me feel stupid alright so uh, there's six minutes left so I'm just gonna come back when it's done uh, downloading alright so it's done installing so then you're left with this WinRAR file uh, you do have to have WinRAR or 7-zip or something installed um, but you should already know that by now uh, if you don't then uh, the website's really easy I'll just throw that website in the description too um, but I'm not going to show you how to install WinRAR. That's plain and simple. So what you're going to want to do is uh, oop, right click, extract here, or extract file, the same thing, don't matter. And then uh, you're left with this uh, LCPDFR 1.0D installer. Actually, close that out. Uh, you're going to want to right click it, run as administrator, hit yes. And hit OK for English. And just go through this next. I agree. Uh, leave everything here checked. Um, right here, the D Sound ASI loader and X Live List ASI loader. I recommend using the D Sound ASI loader because the D Sound ASI loader lets you go on to multiplayer to play with other people. Uh, somewhere down the road, if you want to play online with someone. And you have X Live List installed and not D Sound, it won't let you go up, uh, go online. So I just recommend just keeping D Sound, just keep everything right here like it is. Hit next, hit next. Uh, leave this uh, should already be automatically installed where your game is. Hit next. Let's go through the installation process. So this is why I prefer the automatic install because it does everything for you, and then you're done. Then right here, uh, this is the launch LCPDFR configurator. I'll just launch it just so you guys can see what it is. Uh, it's this. Um, I'll just uh, I'll show you guys what I usually do. Uh, obviously, you want to enable callouts. Uh, if you highlight or hover over each thing, it'll tell you what it is. Uh, enable hardcore mode. I never do that. Um, it's where like uh, damages like more. So like, if you get shot once, you're more likely to die. Uh, the regular. I don't ever enable that. Uh, all text mode I don't know what that is that's new uh, it's like everything like even what's on the radio said that it'll be displayed I don't like that uh, render holster taser that just shows a taser on your player that's pretty cool so I keep that uh, I like hearing random police chatter makes things more uh, lively so I keep that uh, skip transporter cutscene I don't do that um, I leave that off that shows like uh, uh, when you drive a prisoner to the police station, it'll show them taking them out of the car and stuff. Uh, preload all models. Uh, I don't know what that does. That's new. I wouldn't even touch it. Um, this, you have to have uh, something installed. Uh, it's uh, Abraxas' Police HQ mod. Uh, it's just a different type of looking police station. That don't really matter. Uh, disable AI roadblocks. You don't want to do that if you're in a pursuit and you ever want a roadblock and you have this disabled, they won't come for you. Um, annihilator backup. Um, this actually I might turn on. Uh, 
it'll always be have always have a helicopter uh, join the pursuit, uh, which is good. Uh, I like this too, uh, which is new. A limit of cop cars in the pursuit. Uh, I definitely keep it a five because anything more than five, it will slow your game down and make things lag, and it's just a nuisance because they don't know how to drive and they'll hit you. Uh, limit cops on foot twenty. Yeah, that's not bad um, because they don't do as much damage. Uh, and then you got general settings too. Always enable auto save. Uh, this is new for the boats. Uh, disable boat callouts. I would keep that. Uh, don't check that. So you can just um, you can you know what's it called? Uh, receive calls on boats. Uh, at this is already checked. I'd leave that. Activate siren strobe lights. Let's figure that. Whether or not strobe lights are used as siren, I don't know what that means. Activate prefer keyboard keyboard input. I don't know. I don't know what any of those mean, so I would just leave that be. Advanced settings. Call out multiplier. The higher the value set, the more likely a value or a call is to be created. I like uh, frequent calls. Um, I like having the busyness. I don't like just driving around um, and just doing traffic stops. Um, it gets really boring. So I like having the calls. So I'm going to jump mine up to 750. Um, seconds. This is maximum seconds for a call out. Minimum seconds for a call out. Um, I keep everything else the same. And uh, your account for LCPDFR, you can link it to your account. Um, I don't. Um, just when you're done, hit apply on uh, all these. Then that's it. Um, just hit the X button, and then you are all installed, and you're all set to go. So, guys, that is how you install LCPDFR 1.0 version D, the automatic install. I hope you guys uh, like this video. If you do, uh, like the video, comment if it's good, comment if you have any questions, and definitely subscribe for more. I'll be having more LCPDFR videos and other various tutorials coming out as well. And, uh, again... If you want to see the manual install this version or if the automatic install didn't work and you want to try something else, uh, click anywhere on the screen. Uh, there will be some, an annotation somewhere. Uh, just click there and that will send you over to the manual install. So guys, thank you very much. I'm Kata Lee and have a good one.